Rabbit Hosen is an extremely ugly beast in most of our impressions. In fact, the Hosen is a small animal in the cat family. They are about the size of cats we usually see, and have cat-like fur, which is very cute. But it looks so cute. Its fighting power is very fierce and it is very good at fighting. They are so cruel but they know how to be grateful. In one village, a herdsman had an unforgettable friendship with Hosen. The herdsman's name is Blake, and he has followed his father to learn the knowledge of sheep shepherding since he was a child. When he grew up, he inherited his father's family business and continued to herd sheep. After a few years on a blind date, he married a beautiful wife. Not long after they got married, they gave birth to a cute and well-behaved daughter named Eva, perhaps inherited Blake's genes. Eva loved to go out with Blake to herd sheep since she was a child. Every time Blake went out to herd the sheep, Eva followed. Blake watched the sheep rest on the grass while Eva played on the nearby grass. One day Blake brought Eva to herd the sheep as usual. When Blake was lying on the grass, he heard Eva, who was playing next to him, tell him that there were kittens. Blake got up suspiciously to check and was puzzled. When he got closer, he found that Eva was dirty, and her face was stained with mud. She was happily pointing at the hole she dug next to him. Seeing Eva like this, Blake thought that he would definitely be scolded by his wife when he got home. But seeing his daughter so excited, he couldn't bear to blame her. He crouched down to observe the kitten his daughter said. He saw two kittens huddled together in the nest. They looked at them fearfully. Blake took a closer look and wondered why they lived in the cave. Just when he was wondering, a rude cry came out. Blake suddenly remembered that it should be a hosen, so he hurriedly stopped his daughter to touch their hands. He explained to his daughter that it was not a kitten, but a hosen and that they were fierce. Eva hurriedly retracted her hand, but looking at the pitiful appearance of these two little husbands huddled together, Eva felt distressed. So she looked up to Blake and told her dad that they were small, and what if they were taken away by a wolf? Blake looked at the two hosen bunnies, then at Eva. In the end he decided to take them back first and let them live when they were grown up. Eva nodded happily and agreed. Blake picked them up. The two little husbands knew that they had no intention of attacking, so they obediently took them back. Eva's mother saw that Eva was dirty and scolded Blake. They chose to bow their heads and admit their mistakes in the face of this woman's scolding. After the woman was no longer angry, Blake took the hosen out and made a request to keep it. His wife immediately refused, so Blake took the opportunity to signal to his daughter. Eva immediately lay on top of her mother and acted coquettishly. In this way, they successfully persuaded the woman to adopt the two little hosen rabbits, but after a few months, Eva's mother regretted raising them, because the two little husbands often made trouble after getting familiar with them. They often made a mess in the house, which annoyed the woman. The woman wanted to release them, but Eva objected, and said they were too young to be released. So they quarreled often, Blake reconciled multiple times until something happened that changed Eva's mom. One day, Eva took two husbands to herd sheep as usual with her father. When Blake was resting, he suddenly heard a scream from Eva in the distance, and he immediately got up and rushed towards Eva. He saw a snake in front of Eva, staring at Eva with its tongue sticking out, and Eva told his dad with a crying voice that she was scared. Blake was very worried when he saw this, and he hurriedly told Eva not to move. Then he looked to see if there was anything that could be used, before Blake could act. The two rabbits swooped on the snake. The snake twisted its nimble body to avoid it. So the two husbands and the snake began to fight. Blake took the opportunity to keep his daughter behind, while Eva hid behind Blake nervously watching them fight and secretly cheering them on. The two husbands bit towards the snake, and the snake avoided the hosen on the left and was caught by the hosen on the right. Under the siege of two husbands, the snake kept struggling, 
Knowing that it couldn't win, it planned to run away, but was stopped. Finally, under the attack of two husbands, it died. When they got home, Eva's mother hugged her nervously when she heard about her distress, knowing that the two husbands saved her daughter. Although she didn't say anything, her attitude towards the two husbands changed a lot, so the two husbands grew up healthy under the care of the family. A year later, Blake watched the bigger and bigger hosen and had the idea of releasing them, but his wife and women were reluctant, until one morning, Blake was woken up by a commotion. He went out and found that the two husbands ran into the sheepfold. The flock was frightened by the hosen, and one lamb was bitten, so the couple hurriedly chased the rabbit out. Seeing the tragic condition of the sheepfold, they knew that the two husbands had to be released and told Eva about the situation. Knowing that Eva was unwilling, Blake picked her up and whispered to her that hosen were not kittens. They were carnivores, and the grassland was their destination, and they had agreed to release them when they grew up. Eva tearfully asked what if they couldn't find food outside. Blake knew that Eva was reluctant to leave them, so he said that with their fighting power, they would definitely find food, and if they kept them, they would hurt her favorite lamb. Eva was so moved by Blake's words that she finally decided to let them go. The first time they let the husbands go, they followed. Finally, when they released the husbands for the third time, the husbands realized that they didn't want them anymore. After that, the husbands never showed up again. One day after Hosen left, Blake suddenly found a sheep missing while inspecting the sheepfold, so he hurriedly called his wife to confirm. After their repeated confirmation, there was indeed one sheep missing. They looked around the sheepfold carefully and found no loopholes or signs of fighting. They heard nothing that night, but it annoyed them. They wondered if someone stole the sheep, so they hurriedly reported to the village chief. But after several days of inquiries, they did not find any clues, so they decided not to pursue it, but to be more cautious afterwards. But that night they lost another sheep, just like last time. The door to the sheepfold was closed, and there was no sign of a wolf or jackal coming, which made them take it seriously. They decided to take turns guarding to see who stole the sheep. About a week later, Blake was guarding the sheepfold one night. Blake was tired and yawning from being guarded for a week straight. Just as Blake was about to fall asleep, a gruff cat meow woke Blake up, when Blake woke up, he thought it was Hosen coming to steal the sheep, but found Hosen beside him, and a figure appeared in the sheepfold. Blake hurried after it, it looked like a tiger leopard, and looked like a big beast, but the animal was moving so fast that Blake couldn't keep up. When Blake came back dejected, he saw a Hosen standing next to the sheepfold. Blake walked over and said thank you to the Hosen for waking him up. The hosen didn't respond but jumped on the fence of the sheepfold, then turned and left. Blake noticed that the fence the hosen had jumped over had azalo white fur on it. The fur was definitely not from this hosen, nor from the sheep. So the next day Blake took the hair and told the village chief about it. The village chief knew it was a bit serious when he heard Blake say it was a large animal shaped like a tiger. He wondered what would happen if a tiger attacked the village if he didn't care about it. He then contacted the relevant department with the hare. After identification by relevant departments, they confirmed that it was not a tiger but a snow leopard. They did not expect snow leopards to appear. The snow leopard came into the village to hunt sheep for survival, so the village chief asked Blake to build the fence higher, and the relevant personnel would come to the vicinity to investigate and find the snow leopard and bring it back. Half a month later, the village chief told Blake that the snow leopard had been taken to a safe place by the relevant authorities. Blake relaxed when he heard the news. Then he asked the village chief if the two sheep he had lost were eaten. The village chief laughed and said that the two sheep must have been eaten. He reassured him and would make it up to him. When Blake later told his wife and daughter about the hosen that woke him up, Eva happily remarked that the hosen remembered them 
and helped them catch thieves. His wife also lamented that she didn't expect to help them after they were gone for so long. Many people think that many animals in nature are wild and untamable, but they actually have their feelings. The events of animals repaying their gratitude often occur, which proves to us that animals are also grateful. So it is hoped that everyone can be kind to animals and live peacefully with them. Let us protect nature together and create our earth together. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.